Platzenzi Prison, Berlin, Germany. A year and a half ago, nine prisoners escaped from Platzenzi over a period of just six days. On December 28, 2017, four of them broke out by smashing through a support beam in the ventilation gap and then by crawling under the fence. The next day, a fifth prisoner who was on day release didn't return to prison as he was supposed to. On the 1st of January, the prison staff discovered that two more inmates broke out through a cell window. The last two escaped on the 2nd of January 2018, but the authorities never made it clear if they forced their way out or simply took off on their release. And it really doesn't matter that much. None of the nine got charged for escaping prison because the act of breaking out of one is not a crime in Germany. Now what happened at Platzenzi is extreme, but Germany does have a quite high overall escape rate. In the US for example, where breaking out of prison is punished with up to 10 extra years, the rate is 6 times lower. However, these numbers are deceiving without context. The fact that there are so many inmates who one way or another manage to flee from prison is actually a good thing, and the fact that escapes aren't punished is an even better one. It's quality over quantity. Back in 1976, Germany passed the Prison Act, which is the federal code that reorganized the prison system and the execution of sentences. Basically, the code made prison feel less like prison, the philosophy behind this shift being that imprisonment should be a mean of rehabilitating offenders and not just a form of punishment. See, the problem with prison systems which favor punishment is that they release inmates in a worse mental condition than prior to their incarceration. If they are sent back into society mentally damaged, they won't be able to stay on the right path, which means that sooner or later they will end up back behind bars. The effects of incarceration on mental health are caught by the concept of post-incarceration syndrome. Fix is not a condition itself. It's a casing of symptoms of four mental disorders caused by the fact that inmates have to cope to the harsh environment of prison. They can develop institutionalized personality traits, PTSD, antisocial personality traits, or social sensory deprivation syndrome. So to avoid all of this trouble, the Prison Act gives inmates many privileges. For example, to wear their own clothes, to have a TV set in the cell, to cook their own meals, and it gives them up to 21 vacation days per year. They may also work outside without supervision, or simply leave the institution for a certain period of the day without being supervised. The Prison Act also grants them with a special leave prior to their release for up to one week to prepare the release, like finding a place to stay or a job or whatever they need to live a normal, lawful life. Obviously, the problem with these day leaves is that some inmates don't return to prison, which makes them fugitives who cannot be punished. This happens, or better said doesn't happen, because according to the prevailing legal theory, seeking freedom and escaping from captivity is a basic human instinct, and therefore it cannot be considered a crime. What this means is that Germany legally recognizes this urge. And since the Prison Act gives inmates so many day leaves, which basically are opportunities to go AWOL, this desire to be free is not seen as a risk. Yet, things aren't this simple. See, even if Germany recognizes this psychological need and doesn't punish it, it doesn't mean that breaking out is in fact legal. If it were legal, Germany wouldn't have had prisons, but it does, 179 of them. So the authorities will pursue and bring the fugitives back to prison to complete whatever's left of their sentences. They won't spend an extra day in prison for breaking out, but this act does constitute a violation of prison regulations, which means that they will lose all privileges like parole, day leaves and so on. Still, the process of breaking out may be illegal. If they give someone money to smuggle them out of prison, that's bribery. If they use violence, that's assault. If they cut the bars to their cell, that's destruction of property. Basically, aside from not returning from day releases, it is close to impossible to pull off an escape without committing any other crimes that are punished accordingly. In a way, punishing the desire to be free would be just like punishing someone for being hungry. It's not a crime to eat, but stealing food is. So this is why breaking out itself is not made illegal. And Germany isn't the only country that doesn't consider breaking out of prison a criminal offense. This philosophy of the law can also be found in China, Korea, Russia, Mexico, Brazil, Belgium, Austria, Sweden and the Netherlands. However, in China, Korea, Russia and Mexico, the law requires officers to shoot and kill inmates attempting to escape. Nonetheless, recognizing officially that psychologically man has an urge to not be restrained does make sense. Correctional systems should do what their name suggests, correct and not just punish those who have wronged others, because at the end of the day, even if we all feel that offenders deserve only to be punished, if we look beyond the wall of hatred, they eventually return into society.
so it is best for all of us if they come back better than when they went in.